Welcome to Ground Zero. I'm Daryl. I'm Desiree. Okay, our first item to kickstart this is hazing. Okay, not in Singapore, but in South Korea. These students have it quite jala, man. <laughs> see from the plentiful pictures we have, the guys and girls are forced to go naked and are pelted with eggs and flour in grad rituals after middle school. Okay, needless to say, these acts were forced upon them, these hapless teens from their devious seniors. And how do we know this? From the 40-odd pictures which were released online. Yes, if you look at the pictures, there's one where the students were making a human pyramid and their bodies were all covered in flour and eggs. Okay, there are also some where they were standing there like just naked and holding on to their private parts, like just like... Ooh, okay. <laughs> According to the report, these grad kids put up with it because their seniors told them if they didn't do it, they'll be punished. But seriously, how much more punished can you get? This is the worst ever. Okay, now apparently in South Korea, hazing is quite the common thing. It happens in Singapore but nowhere near as bad. And yet, Singaporeans complain. Uh, what were the recent ones? Uh, there's one in ACJC where the girl was tied to two poles and pelted with stuff. And there was one in SCDF where the person was you know, naked, tied and then had tar painted all over him. Mm. Uh, these are some of the old time grades that I went through like for myself or heard someone go through when I was younger. Okay. There's the royal flush where the person's face is put into the toilet bowl and flush. Uh, there's Tao Pok, where everyone just jumps on the person and either beats him or her up or just lies on them. Okay, lying on them sounds relatively harmless, but it's not. Uh, not when you're at the bottom of the heap, like, you know, your back will crack, your ribs will protrude out, your guts will spill across the floor like there's no tomorrow. Oh my goodness, there's, I heard of those, you know, where they put glue on the person and stick random pieces of rubbish on them. And then the worst ones are probably those which involve walking around naked in public places. Yeah, I think, uh, because it's always about humiliation, you know, you gotta make the person, like, feel all these kinds of, like... <sighs> Sadness. But all these initiation rights, right, while not totally legal, are normally just normal, like just everyday things that school children will indulge in. Um, when I was in uni, our hazing always involved a lot of alcohol and just drinking many, many different things and daring each other to do stuff. Uh, the worst was one of my friends he tried to jump from an elevated platform to another, but uh, ended up fracturing his leg. Oh, that's terrible. Well, mm. my own experience in hazing was secondary school as well, you know where they just threw flour and eggs and water and just make us shout really, really loud so that it was really embarrassing for us. Just shout like, ah! No, and then shout, that's it? No, shout in front of the old boys' school next to oh, our old I girls' see. school. Yeah. But was it any more violent? Did any, like, as you graduated to, like, uni, did you, like, sort of, did you hear of anything that was even more violent than that? No, other than people drinking and getting naked, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, drinking and getting naked is not very violent. Okay, well, uh, I think uh, I'm pretty okay with it at my stand. Um, like the recent one where the NTU student was doing something su sexually suggestive to a banana uh, and another NTU student, I thought that was fine. I mean, it's all part of the fun and these days it's so ridiculous uh, that kids can't really have fun before they are hauled up. I don't think that it's that good an idea. Firstly, mm. because even though these things that happen in Singapore are tamer, if unchecked, they could end up like the ones in South Korea. All it takes for the students to think is that they can get away with it. Um, okay, but you see, if there's no form of initiation or like ritual, uh, where it's tough for people to go through in order to prove themselves, I feel that life growing up would be less fun. You know, like decidedly a lot less fun because you don't go through all the the dads and everything is just like oh everybody's so quiet and everybody just like follows around and you know so boring that's true hazing really um, gels people together mm. I mean a bit of it you know it breaks the eyes with different people mm. but not too much like you were saying yeah okay mm. um, for those who are too afraid of hazing uh, do what the grown ups do and face with new people wanting to join our group haze their wallets uh, what do I mean by that uh, you know like get your colleagues to treat you uh, to a round of drinks or you know like KFC, that is socially acceptable. So, in all doubt, just take their money. That's really violent to your wallet. Yeah, violent to your wallet.